people wonder where the parents are. We talk to people about uh, where's your role models in the area, where's the sense of values and character. Dr. Phil joins us right now because that's something you do for a living, that's something you do on TV and in real world, and you're also a dad. What, what's your thoughts? Well, obviously, I, I do wonder where the parents are. You, when you look at a lot of the people that are throwing the rocks and cutting the hoses, these are decidedly young people. You know, where are their parents? And I don't mean just where are their parents that night. Uh, oftentimes, the older generation talks about the younger generation as though we have nothing to do with who they have become. We do have something to do with who they become. Sure. Where were their parents in terms of the values? And look, I often say to people on my show, particularly if they've lost a child or whatever, one of the things I say is, look, during this hour, one thing you won't hear me say is I know how you feel. Because if you haven't been in someone's shoes, you can't really say how they feel. So, look, I, you know, I'm sitting here, uh, an old white guy. I can't say I know how these young sure. people feel. I, I, I get that. But I can tell you this. Go Look at Ferguson. Look at some of the other thing, places that these things have happened. A month later, the mom and pop shops are gone. They're destroying their own community's right. backbone. These people that are underinsured or not insured, they're in there destroying their businesses, right. their lives, their families, their futures, their legacy. They're not helping themselves. No. Come on. And no. uh, Phil, you look, uh, Peter's just outside that CVS. That CVS was the nice store in the middle right. of a, a blighted area. And where are they going to buy this stuff, as he detailed earlier? Uh, you asked earlier where the parents are. We've got, I want you to watch right now. Okay, so that's some of the uh, cleanup moments ago at the CVS store. Uh, let's take a look at this. That reportedly is a mother who looked out and saw her son was about to vandalize or do something bad, and she took him home. Look, I, I, you, you always say never say never. I would have said I would never say that I would endorse a parent striking their child on her about the head and say that that's good parenting. Until today. But I got to say, I'm tipping my hat to this mother <laughs> that gets off her butt and gets out there on the street, finds her kid and gets his attention and drags his butt home. I am tipping because my hat to that Because on a regular day, somebody would accuse that mother of child abuse. Exactly. Would you go as far as saying this mother is saving her child's life in this moment, uh, if indeed that is her son? She could very well be doing so. She could be very well giving that child his life back. She could be, he could be getting shot if she didn't. She could be getting him home. And I tell you what, he will not forget that uh -huh. his mother came out there and got him and brought him home. And I'll guarantee you, 20 years from now, he'll say, yeah, my mother took me home. How do you get into the mindset of the, of the looters, the rioters, though? What's your message to them? Because they're, they're together. They feel justified in <clears> what they're doing, wrongly so. What do you say to them? Well, look, you've got to separate this out. You can't have a generality because I'll promise you, I, and I've, I've interviewed and talked to people about this in the past, some of them can't tell you why they're out there. They, it, it, you know, you, 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 you'll hear people, and when I say I've talked to people about this in the past, I've talked to people that are angry about issues, but don't really understand the issues. They're just blanket, we're supposed to be angry. And then you've got people that are just saying, hey, it's a chance to get free stuff. Yep. Uh, they, they will do that. And they don't really understand what's going on. And then you've got people that are legitimately upset. They understand that there has been a breakdown of the system. They understand that there is uh, an abuse of power here. They understand that there has been a miscarriage of justice. And they are angrily upset right. and protesting. So you, there, are, there are factions within there. You've sure. got thugs that are just out there trying to capitalize on an opportunity. Right. And then you've got people that legitimately are upset. There's sure. all kinds of people Do out Dr. there. Dr. Phil, you usually deal with one-on-one. -on -one. You know, you're dealing with here in a family one on one. When you look at this is like the fourth major inner city uprising. And we keep saying, where's the character? Where are the parents? Where's the opportunity? Where are the role models? How long are we going to keep saying, where are they? And what can be done to change this? Because those kids <clears throat> have the same potential as your kids and our kids. Well, I, I'm not sure that's true. I'm not sure they, they may have the same potential, but I'm not sure they have the same opportunities opportunity. because the. the the fact is, the school system is not necessarily the same. The it's resources not. Is not, are not necessarily the same. The leadership that they have from the parents because of the generational uh, pass-throughs are not the same. There's no question that they have a steep hill 
and a tough row to hoe. But it's not going to get better because you're out there cutting fire hoses that are trying to stop fires right. burning down businesses that are family owned in their own community. How much better would this be had they done what the 300 man march was trying to get people to do to get out there and show solidarity in a peaceful way and say we are not moving sure. until people get pay attention to this instead of showing what is easily criticized and put down. Right, Absolutely. because we still don't know what sure. happened to uh, Freddie Gray. We don't. His That's family right. is That's calling it. for just that, just peace and calm. Right. Well, we appreciate your comments about that. I know later on today you've got a very powerful guest, uh, Kimberly Richards, who's on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, makes a big admission. Well, we're going to be looking at uh, what's really going on in that story. So many people follow that throughout the country. And obviously, she's had a, a, a real significant event in her life. We're going to find out what really took place. We're going to ask questions that people want to know the answers to. And uh, I think we're going to get to the bottom of a story that's captivated a lot of people's. Um, Absolutely. Uh, and so we'll see what's happening there. But I'm going to keep watching this as well. Nobody right. asks questions or gives answers like the great Dr. Phil. Well, Phil, right. thank you. We're going to get Elizabeth Hasselbeck one of those housewife shows. <laughs> what, are, what are the chances of that, Elizabeth? <laughs> Zero. Pretty Zero indeed. <laughs> Zero. I'm not going to see her on a housewife no. show. Uh, okay. Thank you, sir.